This is still my garden. We've just done the shed. My, my new apartment's finished. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, fly just buzzed past me, you probably hear that. Um, today, we're back in the garden, this is my garden, all the shed's done, and we're missing a barbecue, R.I.P. Burfa. Um, we're back and we're doing a green curry vibe with a pan seared lemon sole. So, I've made my green curry prior to this, right, because one, I've got a dog shit blender, two, I ain't got all day, and three, if I tell you to put things in a blender, you should all be capable, right? So here is a tray of green curry stuff, yeah? So, eight round shallots, six cloves of garlic, two pieces of lemongrass, whole bunch of coriander, stalks and all, half a bunch of holy basil, seven blow your back out fire chilies, Five green chilies. These are the Turkish ones. I couldn't get the small green Thai ones. Um, if you can find the small green Thai ones, swap the number of greens, the number of reds for greens. So you're looking at seven greens. So I've gone five Turkish chilies. Shrimp paste, dry shrimp paste. You want that umami fishy background. It's a teaspoon of this. One good fun piece of galangal. And then in here, teaspoon and a half of toasted cumin seeds, toasted coriander seeds that are crushed, and then half a teaspoon of turmeric. Yes, yeah, so hopefully you've all written this down. You've got your little notebooks out. All of that gets peeled, goes into a blender, and you fucking waz it, yeah? I did it in a pestle and water because my blender's a piece of shit. But you'll end up with something that looks like Bam, 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 bam. You can see there's liquid in this, right? I've had to add a little bit of water because my fucking blender's a piece of shit. And then I took it out, got frustrated, and bashed it with a pestle and mortar. The idea was, I was at the fishmongers, big up Steve Hats, hello. Um, and I saw a beautiful piece of lemon sole, and I already had like the Thai green curry vibe in my head, and I thought, what could we do to like, just do my take on it? So we're gonna do like an aqua pazza meets fish curry, right? Fuck off, man. So, beautiful lemon sole. Cornish, straight out of the sea, a day old. I've got them to skin it and trim the fins, right? Beautiful flat fish, know what bones to worry about. For all of you people, I don't like fish. These are the fish to start with, yeah? Then I've got one tube of squid that I've cut and I've scored. If you've seen these videos before, you know how to do this from many a previous. A couple of beautiful tigers, just peeled the shells off, took the poo vein out. Jobs are good in. So also I found these beautiful round courgettes um, in my local Italian deli. But traditionally you'd use like a pea aubergine. I couldn't find any, so I thought, what else can give us some texture? The idea is, we're gonna pan fry this, take it out, then put all of our nice bits in, make a curry with it, and then pour it over the top, yeah? Hassan vibe, you get me? So we're gonna start off with this piece of fish, right? So. Lemon sole, these bastards, yeah, once you've skinned them, have the tendency to stick to the pan. So what you need to do is grab yourself some flour. You can use gluten-free, you can use whatever, corn flour, potato flour, is what it is. And all we're gonna do is dip our little fishy in flour, so it's got a protective barrier, right? This is a very French, traditional, You'll often see chefs doing like, oh, lemon sole and brown crab and capers and butter and stock. And yeah, it's just amazing. It's French, it's classic, I was trained. Um, so we're just copying that really. We're just using this as a safety blanket, knowing that this piece of shit fish won't stick. If it does stick, it can fuck itself. That's why I bought two. So you're probably looking at, why has he got two? Because if I fuck one, I've got one for backup. But I don't often fuck things, but this could be the one time. Now, I've got this in flour, and all I want to do is give it a little flick, yeah? I don't need fuck loads of flour on it, I just need an excess. I need a coated barrier, right? I need sun cream when you're on holiday. You don't want to fucking lather it on because you're not going to get no colour. So we're just doing a little, little covering. So, 
into a hot pan, you want to go with a neutral oil, yeah? So the French would use a neutral oil and butter. We're not doing butter because I want to keep it somewhat traditional. I know I've fucking merged two, two dishes here, but promise me, no, I promise you, Hot pan. I have got some peanut oil. Um, what? The fuck is this, bruv? Why is this puzzle? I just put my finger in it. Fam, what the fuck is this? Oh, wait, maybe you pour. I've definitely broken this. Oh no, look, all right, cool. Ah, oh, sick fam. Got some peanut oil. Um, I'm going peanut because it's got a high smoking point and it's neutral. Um, I, I just know that it's going to give us a good color on this lemon sole, right? So look, I've been generous with the oil. I don't want any fucking possibilities of sticking. Not even a smidge. I don't want it to fucking stick. If it sticks, we're fucked. Hot pan. Season this fish. Normally people tell you to season flour, I just don't believe it stays on, so. Some salt. And then I'll season the other side when it's in the pan, right? Gonna make sure that our pan's coated. And I'm gonna lay my fish in. Give it a little push down. Making sure we've got oil on the contact areas. Little sprinkling of salt on the top. You need a decent unstick pan. You need a pan that your fish can fit in. I've had to trim my fish ever so slightly to make sure that I can get it into the pan. And all we're gonna do now is make sure that it's touching and it's frying and it's getting beautiful color, right? We're building this flavor in the pan so that when our curry bits go in, we've got the flavor of this fish in it too. It's starting to get little bits of brown here and it's starting to pull away from where the fins were. Just gonna have a peek, just to see if we've established. <laughs> see me, French. Um, now flatfish don't need a long time. You've got to think that the, the, the fattest part of this fish is here, like up by the chest. The bottom of it's just gonna cook anyway but I don't want to cook it all the way through because we've got other bits happening. So now we've done what, four minutes? Maybe less than that, three minutes? Gonna go for the flip. <laughs> the beautiful crispiness. It's not gonna need that long, right? I like flatfish as like a sticky, fatty, gelatinous, like turbot, place, sole, halibut. All of those flatfish have like a meatier vibe. And I just enjoy eating them. Now look, three minutes skin side, two minutes on the other side. I'm gonna pull this fish out. Let it rest. Beautiful, look at that beautiful. Why am I a cooker? So good, delicious. Fish resting, it's gonna release all of its flavors that are then gonna go into our curry, right? Here, we spoke about these little courgettes. I'm just gonna top one. I want it chunky, I don't want thin rounds. I want like that, different texture. So I've got half a round courgette and then We've got a couple of these beautiful fucking tiger tomatoes. They're gonna give us sweetness and acidity and like fucking, just like that lovely tomato-y huggy background, right? So that's what, four tomatoes? Do one more for good luck, five tomatoes. And then I've got bits of seafood. I've got prawns and I've got fucking that stuff, squid. I've got squid. So we want this to almost like we're mocking, we're doing a mimic of, ow. We're doing a mimic of how fast you can cook on a wok, right? So, same oils in the pan, fish is resting. 
Fuck me, bro. Fish is resting. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on my zucchini, just because I want it to have flavor. I don't want to just sit there and be like, oh, I'm just zucchini and no one likes me. So let zucchini join us. Or if you're English, courgette in. Now when cooking like this, we need to think about what's gonna cook fastest. I know my zucchini, I don't know why I keep calling it zucchini. The woman in the shop, Veronica, kept saying to me, buy this zucchini. So this is zucchini today. Zucchini is gonna need a little bit longer than like prawns or squid, which I can't get right. They're seasoned, they're in, yeah? Courgettes are like sponges, right? They have a very high water content in courgettes. So they have the ability to soak and sponge. But also, when you pan fry a courgette, look at this, you get all these nice caramelized bits, yeah? Like that. Just establishing flavor, cooking in that fish juice. Now, from there, we need to think about what's gonna make, what's gonna take longest next, right? We've got some prawns. Yalla. Prawns are in. Couple bits of squid next. Again, little season. Now, I don't want to poke at the seafood, I just want to make sure that it's getting colour and it's semi cooked. We don't want it fully cooked, right? Zucchinis are starting to soften. Squid, little turn. Then we're going to hit this with a big fucking two tablespoons of that paste that we made, yeah? And then toss. So now we want everything coated. We want everything coated in that Thai green curry that we made. I'm gonna add in a couple clams, couple mussels. And then, keep the pan on a high heat, add in your coconut milk. There's enough liquid in there for the mussels and clams to be able to open. Now, all we're doing is establishing our curry sauce element, right? So, give it a little mix around, because my blender shit is a little bit not as smooth and as pretty, but if you've got a really good blender like a Nutribullet or anything like that, let's give it a little taste. Oh, that's a nice one, man. Oh, who make this? So look, mussels and clams don't need long at all, but as each clam and as each mussel opens, it's just giving us a little pocket of like sea flavor. If you watch this one, this one's gonna go bonk. You bastard. Now, I'm gonna throw in a couple of these tomatoes, just because I don't want them to cook all the way through. I want them to be in the background so that there's texture again, right? And we're gonna give it a little taste. So I've got heat, I've got sweetness, I've got fucking coriander, garlicky, lemongrass, right? But we want to think about what's going to elevate this, what's going to lift it, what's going to make it go, ah, like that. I need some salty vibes from fish sauce. One, two, three, four. Four plonks of fish sauce. A little sprinkling of sugar. We want to balance this. We want sweet, fiery, salty, and acidic, right? and go with our lime.
Right, so my little see-through curry's ticking along. And the plate, a little bit of salt, like so. Any of this juice, straight back on top. And then, I'm gonna take this without burning our fucking, I'm just gonna add a few bits to it. So we're gonna go prawn. And make sure we've got a couple of clams and tomato, some squid, a couple of bits of courgette. Some of our curry over the top, like so. Chop up a couple of these bird's eye chilies. So I just want a little bit of, I like the fresh heat while you're eating a green curry. got some coriander and some holy basil that I've kept in ice water so it stays nice and crunchy. I'm gonna shake the water off of this. Just over the top, like that. And I know I've fucking covered the star of the show, right? But I quite like that there's a surprise underneath it waiting for you. There's a beautifully cooked piece of fish on the bottom. Little lime if anyone wants to top up. A couple splashes of fish sauce. Just for a little salty kick. And that is fucking it. Right. Let's fucking eat, bro. If you can't be bothered to make your own Thai green curry paste, right? Use the packet stuff, but just know at the end of it, you're gonna have to tweak it more. It's gonna need more sugar. It's gonna need more fish sauce. It's gonna need more lime juice. I'm not gonna lie, this looks fucking brilliant. Look at this in here, man. Look at this in here. Ever so slightly clinging to the bone still. Yeah, bro, fuck off. Just eating a whole fucking bird's eye chili. Yeah, it's hot. I just ate a bird's eye chili. My eyes are watering. But I like it because you've got all different textures of fish. So under here, we've got beautiful, flaky sole. Oh, look at that. Glistening. Beautiful. And it just pulls away. Effortless. Loads of delicious green sauce. It's fiery, it's sweet, it's salty. There's a very, very big like sea flavor in the back of it. You've got the dried shrimp paste in the curry sauce. Clams and mussels have released all of their juices. Prawn heads have flavored the oil and stuff. You get like a little blistered tomato here and there. The courgette that Veronica told me to buy has just soaked up all of the juices, become like a sponge, a delicious sponge, but also a texture change. There's like crunchiness. It's just really good, man. Proper summer vibes. Feels like holiday food. And then you're like, oh shit. There's a whole prawn under here still. It's all just great, man. And you get a bit of a Thai basil. And you're like, oh, aniseed. And then you get a bit of coriander. You're like, freshness, lime, holiday. If you want, make some rice. Or steep some glass noodles and serve it with cold glass noodles alongside it. It's fucking great, man.
fantastic. I'm well, right? What? I'm just a bit. Yeah, it's spicy. Huh? It's spicy. Yeah. What country would this one? Thailand. Oh, man. Green curries for me have to be fire. Um, I couldn't find any green peppercorns to put in it, but traditionally you would. But you want it to be hot, spicy, acidic, salty, and sweet, all it's at the same eatable. time. Yes, it's all eatable. So look, obviously I've gone all out and I've bought prawns and I've bought clams and I've bought mussels <laughs> and squid. Oh, Fuck oh, oh. me, man. This is all the pepper, man. Yeah, so I've bought all of those things, right? But if you didn't want to use any of that and just wanted to do curry sauce and fish or curry sauce, fish and clam, curry sauce, fish and prawn, fully adaptable. Um, you don't even have to cook the fucking fish if you don't want to. You can just make a curry sauce, glass like noodles, rice, jobs are good in. Um, but I went to the fishmongers and they upsold me this Dover sole and I'm happy I bought it. It's, it's a great fish for something like this because it's gelatinous and fatty and our sauce is quite wishy-washy but the fish holds up and it's like yeah i'm a piece of fucking fish bro and i'm supposed to be here you get me use a bass use a bream bit of cod hake you right there well, then this is amazing wasn't it? <laughs> thanks camille this is nice honestly thank you just fucking peels away we've not even cooked it that long but it's had time to rest the bones are clean Away it comes, oh, oh. just like that. There's a couple pin bones on this bit where the flesh is attached to the spine, but the rest of it, there's no bones at this bottom end. That's fantastic. Man. And you can just go eat it. Jobs are good. Then. And this one, you eat it after? If you want. And yeah, like, it's funny that, but the herbs are a palate cleanser after all of it. You want to eat a little bit of fucking holy basil or a little bit of coriander, refreshing your palate and then go again. Um, it's just a fucking good one, man. You want this prawn? I don't know. Eat the prawn. You know how much that one prawn cost? I don't want to know. Four pound fifty, that one prawn. This one? Yep. That's getting hit seen by Tanba. You would have bought one chicken. Yep, you could have bought one chicken. And feed four people. And fed four people. Wait. This could feed three at a push, depending on the size of your you? fish. You want some more? Um, and depending on how much seafood you put in. <laughs> but thank you. Jan. Thanks for watching. You want some more? You want some more? No. You want some more? No. You want some more? Yeah. Cam Camille. What? I'm, f I'm filming, bruv. Uh -huh. The nice camera. Well, fantastic, man. Like first that. time I like, first time I like this curry, not that. You've eaten yeah. green curry before, man. I forget. Chop House Films. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.